Hello everybody, my name is Latara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play series. In the last episode, we released Alien Android 6, new action game. We released Lucera Hockey Playoff Bound, an add-on to my Lucera Hockey game. Um, we got the Lucera Box 180 on the go. We got the Lucera Go Advanced in the process of being made right now. Um, but today, our main goal is we are going to make an MMO, RPG. Finally, it is time. Triple A, massively multiplayer online. Let's go. Role playing game. I wonder, is there any other? Actually, I'm going to check. Is there any MMOs out on the market right now? Does anybody else have any? Um. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's nine out there right now. Only two of them are RPGs, though. There are nine MMOs. Uh, Dios X being the most popular with 120,000 current subscribers, but it's 2002. Um, I'm pretty sure the amount of people that play MMOs goes up as time goes on, but it is time. It is time to get into the, uh, into the market here. All right. So there we go. We will go fantasy for our theme. I mean, it's an MMO. I mean, fantasies. Mm. Yeah. Fantasies. It's saturated. Although, wait, can I make a sequel to one of our old um, games? Like Fifth Fantasy? Just to get, I mean, it has 4.4 .4 IP value, right? Can we turn this into an MMO? We can. Fifth Fantasy Online. There we go. AAA, we will just take wizards out. Um, cause basically what I'm going to do is uh, the, the paid expansions, we will like add a subtopic, right? So like, say we may do wizards for an expansion, so we'll add the subtopic back, and then we'll call it Fifth Fantasy Online, you know, Wizard Wars or whatever. All right, perfect. So we updated this engine, I think, right? Alrighty. All right, so personal computer, obviously. Game Station... All right, so if we use the game station one, we would have to be it would have to be tech level four. If we do game station two, it could be tech level five, though. And of course, we will include the chair box one eighty because that is mine. Uh, we could go with the Mac. Is there any other tech level five out there? Ooh, yeah, the the Y box is out now. So we could go with the Y box or the Play Cube. Playcube technically has more, but Ybox is easier to make games for. Now let's go with the Playcube. We will buy the Ybox uh, license as well, though. So this will be a Tech Level 5 game. Playcube. Yeah, it's reaching 279 million people, most of which through the personal computer, but that's fine. Hopefully this makes people buy the, uh, <laughs> buys the Lucera Box 180, right? All right, so let, we need anti-cheat for this. This is an MMO. We want to have good anti-cheat. Um, copy protection is fine. All right, so these are locked in. These sliders are locked in. But yeah, so we're we're not great with most of this stuff, but that's fine. I mean, we are with the 32-bit sound, but that's only tech level four. But I think this will be fine. Um, and these sliders should be 40, 30, 15, 15, I believe. They're not everything. That's good, which is, ooh, 50 things. That's a lot. That's good. It's a lot of features. All right, so 45 million <laughs> for this. We are not doing in-app purchases. No, thank you. All right, so 50 hype. Um, what do we want this team to do while that's happening? We will do a free update for Android 6. Yeah. All right, so we're going to make this MMO as good as we can, obviously. We're not going to... I'm not going to cut any costs here. This needs to be good. But it can make a ton of money if it is good. Right? So that'll be good. All right. So QA. And where's our sound team? All right. Is anybody idle? They're making a console. They're researching a new graphics chip. They're busy. They're busy. Um, okay. So they're... Doing a demo for Alien Android 6. They're pumping up the new console. 
Perfect. So we will need to do advertising for the MMO, but that doesn't need to be right this second. Actually, we can just do it right now because they're now freed up. So we will go to Fancy Online. We'll just do two TV spots. That'll get us to 100. We are going to overhype this. Ooh, 11 hype for Alien Android 6 from the demo. Nice. But our Luchera Box 180 is selling fairly well. Luchera Go is still selling pretty well. All right, so we got some extra bugs in the fifth band stand line. That's not a big deal. We can squash those bugs as we go. I mean, we have the extra QA team doing nothing but squashing bugs. This game is going to suck, so my subsidiary can publish that themselves. I don't want anything to do with that. No, thank you. <laughs> so once this is done, we'll do a free update for Playoff Bound as well. Keep that going strong. Yeah, the chair hockey was, uh, ended up being a pretty good game. All right, so let's go... Chair Hockey, let's go Fifth Fancy in line, and Alien Android 6, I guess. And here we will go Chair Box 180, and Chair Go. Sure, let's get that back to 100. All right, so we got 15,000 more fans. We are up to 1.15 million fans. So let's see if we can add any more people to our support room here. There's one person, their skill is not that high, and they get sick a lot, so I'm going to pass on hiring that person. Our mocap studio is full. We do have room in our graphics studio for another person or two. And there is two graphics people available. All right, so you have untalented, learn slower, no thanks. But we will uh, hire Lion, because that's a great name. <laughs> And, oh, this one's 50 to 70, which is nice, but I'm still going to let them publish it. I'm kind of just getting out of the publishing game. I might get out of the publishing game entirely. I may just, once these games are done, I may just get out of it. I don't know. We'll see. I kind of want the space, but, I mean, I haven't used this space up yet, so, you know, to say I want the space is kind of disingenuous when I, when I have all the space available, right? All right, so let's do an update for Playoff Bound. An update for the update. Update Seption. Research team is free. Get this new sound chip. And after this, the research team will actually be, like, free. I can use them. I can put them in this development room and use them to make, uh, get engine stuff going. All right, so this is at 100 hype. So let's uh, console. Which one of our consoles is low? Chair Cube, I mean, I don't really care about the Chair Cube at this point, honestly. Eh, it sold 7,000 copies, or not copies, systems. I just want this one and this one to be strong. Well, the Chair Go is going to stay strong until my new one comes out, and then obviously it's going to dip. All right, so we got 10 million revenue share from that, um, from our subsidiary. Ooh, another decent game from our subsidiary. That's good to see. I like it when they have decent games. <laughs> Alright, so Luchero Go Advanced looks like it's at max hype. It is. It's only at 30%, so still a while, a while before we actually get it out. Our sound team is full. You know what I could do? Get rid of this training room. I mean, I'm going to build a bigger training room. But that'll be over in the other place, right? And then we will greatly expand our sound studio. And we'll add a few more desks in here. I bet no. Or six more. Sure, let's go six more. And then we'll throw some heaters in there for them. Don't want them to be cold. Can't have that. And where is our best soundtrack awards? Got to keep them motivated, right? With some best soundtrack awards. Perfect. So now that we have space in our sound room, Let's get them to search for some sound people. Automatically repeat. Okay. And let's just see. The, are there any sound people out there? There are four people. Okay, so you're lucky. Yeah, we'll hire you. I'm going to pass on the rest of them, though. Okay. That's good. All right. Well, this is not a good game. <laughs> From one of our subsidiaries. We'll just let them do it. All right. So we got a legendary sound person just came on the market. We'll definitely hire you, Nathan McClee. 
So the idea is to have these rooms work very fast. They could potentially, the faster they get to polishing, the better, right? Is the idea behind having these rooms really big with a lot of people in them. All right, so they're not doing anything right now. You can probably do a paid add on for Alien Android 6, right? Although you could also make the argument that I, having multiple smaller rooms might be the play. I don't know. We'll see. Alien Android 6, Robot Wars. Get everything on. That looks good. New copy protection, sure. Okay. And I don't know if we'll be adding anything here. Probably not, right? No, there's not much new coming in now. The features are coming in a lot slower nowadays. All right, so that is done. Yeah, see, this is, <laughs> they're nowhere near done to this MMO. It's taking quite a while. Ooh, that add-on. One of your programs probably wants to be employee of the month and has worked a night shift. Listen, I didn't tell them to do that, just FYI. The result is a significantly increased performance of the game. Well, I like that. Speaking of likes, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. It helps out a lot for a small YouTuber like myself. So they're already polishing the MMO, right? They're already done. It's still got a long ways to go, like from a development team. Then we got another sound person. All right, so we filled a bunch of those seats, not all of them, but I'm, I'm comfortable with that. So let's uh, cancel this and get them to market. Uh, where are we at here? Robot Wars. Okay. So we're actually going to stop polishing the MMO temporarily here. And we're going to polish this instead. Because it's going to be done first. When this is done, we can go back to polishing the MMO. Same thing here. We're going to bug fix Robot Wars. This MMO is going to take a long time to make, right? All right. So I don't think... Oh, there is new relevant hardware. All right. So let's grab it. What about our other teams? Is anybody else done? They're on the last thing. They're about to be done, but they'll bug fix. And they still have, yeah. See, our sound team is the slowest, but I just expanded it. So next time it should be good. All right, Luchair Hockey is coming off the market. Made me $59 million. Don't mind if I do. All right, so Luchair Box 180 is now profitable, which is nice, right? Gotta love that. Yeah, this is going to be done way before this is done. <laughs> Not even close. Ooh, we made a lot off that game. No, we didn't. That's fine. <laughs> that is fine. All right, so we will need to make a server room here at some point. Um, what can we market here? We're already working on Robot Wars. I guess we could do a demo for Playoff Bound. I don't think we did a demo for that, right? I don't believe. Nope, we did not. We haven't done a demo for many things. <laughs> Publish demo. Okay. Ooh, best graphics, best sound. Ah, still no developer of the year. Or publisher of the year. Well, I don't expect to have been publisher of the year. You only Android 6, though. Won some serious awards. Alright, so I will need a little server room here. We're just going to make just a little one. Nothing too crazy. So you know what? There's no point in putting servers in there yet. Because <laughs> they have a, a monthly maintenance fee, right? So, yeah. There's really no reason to be doing that. Um, yeah, we could do some marketing for the Luchera Box 180. Get that back to 100 hype. Since this this group isn't actually doing anything right now. Might as well keep them busy, right? Keep them occupied. Right, that's 60 to 80. That should be a good game. Should make me some money. And you'll notice all our subsidiaries tend to make games for my own consoles, right? All right, uh, another one. Like, see, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. Which is nice. It means it's really going to help my console sales, right? All right, so let's polish Robot Wars. Let's polish Robot Wars. And you're still not done. All right, so Robot Wars is ready, but we want to polish it up a bit. want to get these bugs out, right? Let's continue development. And, okay, they're done. So we'll cancel this. Polish Robot Wars just for a little bit. Nothing too serious, right? We just want get to get those levels up a little bit. All right, another legendary sound artist, which is perfect because we have room in our sound room. 
You're hired. Booyah. Nice. No, everything's coming together. Seven million from our subsidiary game. All right, so it's bug free now. All right, so I'm actually gonna switch this QA room because our other Q QA room is polishing, right? Polishing robot wars, so we will start polishing. Okay, so see online. There should be bug fix. There is some bugs. Ah, we can use our second team for bug fixing. All right, so we got uh, also 64 megabyte memory card. Let's grab that. We can now do free to play games and digital distribution, which is good. Okay. So we're ready to put this out now. What's this one at? 60. So when this hits, we'll say 70%. We'll put Alien Androids add on out and we will start polishing this back up. Right? That's that's the plan. Should be good though. That's a lot of graphics points. This is a, this is a good looking game right here, folks. All right, so we are at 70%. Let's release this. 80 to 100. That's good for an add-on, right? I mean, it's a lot of high scores. And we will give this to a publisher because I'm getting out of the publishing game. So this is an action game. Do I have any subsidiaries with action as their specialty? We do. Sir Code. Or not their specialty. Their fan base likes action games, right? Basically. All right. Perfect. What do we got? Oh yeah, 92. That's good for an add-on. That's that's because we polished it, right? We spent that extra time and effort on it. I or at least that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> All right, so they're polishing. And they're polishing. And they can bug fix. Nice. All right. So what can this group do now? I mean, we can blast through this commission work. Seven thousand. That's a big payout. That was that was totally worth my time. <laughs> uh just kidding. It wasn't. All right, so let's do another free update from Alien, Alien Android Six. Keep sales high on that. And then we'll just basically do free update for this. Free update for this. Just kind of go down the list, right? All right, our marketing teams. Oh, you know what? I and I even forgot to do special marketing for this. That review score could have been 3% higher. But I forgot to do it because I'm awesome and smart and a genius. And that's fine. Well, that's, let's do market research. Action. Is this out of date though? Yeah, this is old market research. That's that's no that's no good. Um well we can market play offbound, do a TV spot for that, keep that high. Right? Sure. Research team is still working, but they are almost done. They're going to have nothing to do here very soon. So we need to look at what kind of game we're going to make next. Building is the trend, but it's not going to be for much longer. Or subsidiaries. Well, we have more subsidiaries now too, right? But they're starting to kick out the games. Adventure is going to be the next trend. Interesting. All right. Any of our consoles need some... Advertising love, maybe Lucero Go, even though <laughs> Lucero Go sales are going to go in the tank here soon when the Lucero Go Advance comes out, right? But let's keep it high. Let's keep the hype high for now. All right, so research. I mean, we could go back and research all this old uh, obsolete stuff, but there's really no point, right? It's a waste of time and money. So let's move them up here and get them to update the old adventure engine, which is actually not that far out of date. It's tech level four. I was surprised. Because I haven't made an adventure game in a while. Right? Like, it's been quite some time. So we'll include um, our best tech level 4, and we'll include tech level 5. So yeah, I'm surprised there hasn't been tech level 5 sound technology come out yet. Right? Like, I feel like that's been the highest for a while. And there's been tech level 5 for the other categories for quite a while. And maybe it's just me, but that's, that's how it seems. Right? All right. Perfect. Yeah, don't there's definitely no I don't know what's going on with the sound. Why it's been like that. But yeah, remember just earlier in that earlier in the episode I was glad that this went over 
like profitable. Well, it's made me 38 million now, and Lucero Go made me 484 million. <laughs> right, that's uh, that's pretty good. Last I checked, that's that's good profits. All right, so we're at 83% done here. Lots of polishing going on, right? Which is good. All right, um, let's start doing some special marketing for this. Let's do the pre-release for the press. And maybe it's too early. Maybe I should have waited a bit. But I mean, it's got pretty high numbers here. The bugs are low, right? I feel like the pre-release of the press should be fine. Yep, plus three percent. You know what that means? It's time to overhype. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. So I could use another support person, probably. Let's see if we can get another one for the for the support room. Yeah, overhype didn't work. That kind of sucks. All right, so we got 338 million in the bank right now. We could probably, um, oh, what is what am I trying to say? I could probably buy another subsidiary, right? All right, so put you there. Okay, so let's look at our subsidiaries. What do we have? Oh, so it doesn't say it doesn't say what their fan base likes here, which sucks because that's kind of what I wanted to see. Right. Does it show me the ones I own here? Not really. All right. Um, I don't know why I'm buying this one specifically. No, no particular reason because they do adventure games, which we think is going to be the next trend, right? But see, it's taken them a long time to do this engine because they're actually researchers, right? <laughs> they're not. They're not uh, game developers per se. That's fine. All right, so let's market Alien Android 6. Get that back to 100 hype. Yeah, it's still selling fairly well, and it's made me 70 million. The add-on's already profitable. Yeah, man, this this MMO is basically basically taking me the whole episode just to make. All right, there's another little tiny profit from. This is a profit. Oh, so we ooh, tech level six fans. All right, so we do have this to do, but our research team is occupied right now, and that's fine. How long has this team been idle? Probably too long. So let's do an update for this. Keep it strong. It's still selling fairly well. All right, our console is ready. No reason to wait. We will go... $20 profit seems to work pretty good for me, so we'll go with that. And, oh yeah. Oh heck yeah. 9.8, five stars, we'll share gold, advance, baby. We're gonna have to make a game for this, though. That'll have to be our next game. We'll have to make sure our adventure game is only tech level four. So that, you know, we'll share gold, advanced. Um, we'll have a game. <laughs> I don't think it has a game right now. Uh, well, I mean, it comes with a game, but I doubt anybody has made a game for it as of yet. Let's get those hyped up. Um, get you. you really care about the Lachera Cube? That's still selling 7,000 a week. Like, that adds up. Right? Like, that's, that's not bad. All right, we got another marketing support person. Drop him in. We're getting full up there. That's good, though. That's what we want. Man, this MMO took a long time. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so it's almost done. So let's get let's get our servers ready. So one server can handle five hundred thousand players. So let's just get two, and then get some air conditioning. Probably don't need to go all the way around the room. The air conditioning right now. Holy crap, these are... I feel like they're getting these marketing support people like pretty consistently. So let's do market research again. Let's see if it actually will be adventure. 12 weeks. It's going to happen pretty soon. All right, so Lachera Q... Yeah, Lachera Go sales went in the tank as soon as Lachera Go Advance came out. But that makes sense, right? That's, that's logical. All right, so... Yeah, we might as well just distribute this, but I'm not going to self-distribute it. But the thing is, if I get somebody else to publish it, do I have to run the servers or do they? You know what I mean? I'm not sure. 
any other time I've had an MMO, I've self-published it. And maybe we'll self-publish it. Definitely map the game world. <laughs> but what's in the Deluxe Edition? So the Deluxe Edition doesn't have a lot extra in it um, at the moment. Let's pimp out all these a little bit. There we go. All right. So you're getting value, folks. You're getting value. Next week, sure. Yeah, we'll go $5 for our, our, our sub, our monthly sub. Okay. Better stuff. Oh, yeah. 95%. That's going to be a good MMO, folks. All right, but we are self-publishing. So let's just make... Say 200,000 in here. Normals. 200,000 normals, automatic production. And here we will do a million. I'm hoping. I'm hoping this sells because I'm making a lot of it. <laughs> this could haunt me. We will see. We will see. That may have been a mistake. We'll find out soon enough. Um, no commission work there. There's no point in making another console right now. We have four consoles on the market right now. That's plenty. Um, so let's do game report. Bit fancy online, even though game reports at this point don't really tell me a whole lot. Um, because I'm pretty good at making most of this stuff, right? All right, so we are going to make a adventure game sequel. I mean, it's been a while since we made an adventure game. I don't know if we have any. Uh, Dragon's Dungeon actually has a little bit of IP value surprisingly oh this was a console exclusive i made yeah i made this not that long ago that's right too i was thinking i hadn't made an adventure game in a long time but it wasn't that long ago i'm gonna do a fresh one though let's do a fresh ip here triple a adventure i know it's the negative trend right now but that's gonna change it's gonna become the trend we think right <laughs> we think it's gonna be the trend oh and fantasy isn't super saturated anymore which is nice because we just made uh, an MMO. Um, Pirates works. Pirate, uh, Pirates Co. We'll call it. Sure. And we'll look for adults. Yeah. We'll go. Oh, the engine's not done, is it? They're still working on it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, that's not good. Can we support them to get them through faster? We can. All right. Let's see how quickly that goes. All right. Free update for Robot Wars. And then we'll do a free update for MMO. So the thing with MMO is MMOs. Let's look at it here. You have this interest bar. It goes down over time. Free updates obviously help keep interest high. And paid updates... Or expansions, however you want to look at it. Yeah, I didn't need to make that much stock. <laughs> um, we'll we'll make the interest put push back up, but eventually, like the max of the interest comes down. If that makes sense, like you can't have a full bear five years in. You'll see as time goes on. This you can kind of see there's a little red right at the end, so the red will kind of come down slowly, and that'll be the cap for interest as time goes on. If that makes sense. All right, so now we can make an adventure game. But I just realized we are getting real close to the 30-minute mark. So we will do that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.